Is it possible to use ChatGPT to create a Twitter bot using Python? And this is what we are going to see for today's video. Actually, I've already made a video on how to scrape Instagram user followers, and send direct messages to them using a Python script, which most people like the idea of this Python bot. And I decided now to make the same concept, but this time, we're going to use Python, and with the help of ChatGPT to build a script, that scrape Twitter user followers, and send DM to them. This can be a useful way to target accounts in a specific niche, and send offers to all the scraped users. So without further ado, let's get straight to work. So I've asked GPT here, on how to scrape Twitter followers of a special account using Python, and save the users in a text file. So in order to make this Twitter bot, GPT is telling us that we need to make sure we have Python installed on our machine. And if you haven't installed Python on your computer before, here's the official website where you can install the latest version of Python. So next, we need to install Tweepy library, so we can get access to Twitter API, and we can install Tweepy library, by typing this command in our command prompt. So in my case, I've already installed Tweepy library before, make sure to do that as well. After that, we need to obtain our API credentials from Twitter, in order to access the Twitter API. But first, you should create a developer account on the Twitter developer website. So this is my Twitter developer account. Now I'm on my dashboard. And this is the project I created, I named it with YouTube tutorial. And I created an app called, Twico app. And from this app, in the keys and tokens section, you can see the API key and secret, that you should generate. Also, you must generate an access token and secret. We will use these API credentials, to authenticate and access the Twitter API. And the cool thing about ChatGPT, it made an example code on how to do this. So I just used the exact same code, and I might made some little changes in my script. And this is my full Twico project. And I'm going to leave this Twico project on my GitHub repository, make sure to check the description below, I'm going to drop the link there as well. So as you can see, the Twico project has two Python files. One for scraping users, and the second one for damn the users. Let me open the project first on Visual Studio Code, which is the text editor I'm currently using. So if I open Twico scrape.py, this is the full script that ChatGPT made for us. And first we need to add our API credentials here. Then this code is where we use Tweepy library, to authenticate and access the Twitter API using our credentials. Next, we should add the Twitter username of the account whose followers we want to scrape. And let's try to scrape Elon Musk followers. But make sure to target an account that related to your niche. So I'll add the username of Elon Musk in my script. And here we need to define the number of followers we want to retrieve. So let's try to scrape 500 followers. And the rest of the code, used for saving the users in a text file followers.txt. Now let's try to run this script. Just type in your command prompt. Python, twico scrape.py. So as you can notice, a new text file has been created, which obviously contains all the scraped followers. And we received this 429 error, which refers to too many requests we have made to Twitter API. Actually, we can solve this issue, just by putting a delay time of 15 minutes per 15 requests. But anyway, let's check the text file. So the script retrieved 300 followers, which is cool by the way. Now let's discover how we can send direct messages to the scraped users, using another Python script, that ChatGPT made for us. So in order to send DM to the users. First of all, you should make sure that you've enabled read, write and direct messages permissions. If you found here read only permission, that means you can't send direct messages. So in order to enable this permission, just go back to your app settings. And here you need to set up the user authentication settings, by checking the third option, read and write and send direct message. Once you do that, then you can run the Twico DM script. So as you can see, it's a basic Python script, that reads our API credentials. Then we write here the message that we want to send. And we read our text file that contains all the scraped usernames. Next, we use two main functions. This one is for getting the user ID of each username. And the second one, api.sendDirectMessage used for sending the message, by giving the user ID variable, and the message variable in the parameters. And I made an exception here, when the message couldn't be sent. And lastly, I added this time sleep of one minute. And that's because of the rate limits of sending direct messages through the API. So from the response of chat GPT, we are only able to send up to one direct message per minute through the API. That's why I added a time sleep of 60 seconds per message. 
Now let's run our script, using this following command. Python, twicodm.py Ok now let me explain what's happened here. So the reason why we couldn't send direct messages to those users, except for the last one. So as you can see, I've already asked chat GPT about that, and since we set up everything correctly, I found that the main reason why we face this issue, is because of their accounts are private, and we are not able to send them a direct message. And as you can see again, the script is still running, and it skips the private accounts, and sends the message only to the public accounts, and of course the script will wait about one minute for each message it sends. Now I stopped the script to check the messages that have been sent to some users. And I can tell that everything worked great, and this is the exact message that I added to my script. For more clarity guys, if you tried to send a direct message manually to a private account, you won't be able to do that, because the account is private, and these accounts here are public, which means, we can send direct messages to them manually, or through the API. And this is how the way Twitter works. So this is for today's video, I made this one so you can just see the power of ChatGPT, and how you can use Python to interact with Twitter API with the help of ChatGPT. If you enjoyed this quick and short tutorial, make sure to smash the like button, and subscribe as well. See you next time in another video.